carbonyl molecules contain a double bond that is more reactive than the double bond inside alkenes. And that's because the carbonyl double bond is polar. It contains a bond between an oxygen and our carbon. Now, in the same way that nucleophilic addition reactions of alkenes take place, nucleophilic addition reactions of carbonyl groups, which contain a double bond, also take place, and they're more reactive than our alkene counterparts. Now, basically, in these reactions, the nucleophile acts as our Lewis base. It contains the highest occupied molecular orbital. However, our carbonyl group acts as the Lewis base. It basically contains the lowest unoccupied molecular orbitals. Now, there are three different conditions under which these reactions can take place. So we have neutral conditions, we have acidic conditions, and we have basic conditions. Now, when we have neutral conditions, the water molecule acts as our Lewis base. It acts as the nucleophile. Now, there are two places on which our nucleophile can actually add on to. So, these two places are described in these two reaction mechanism pathways. So, in reaction one, our nucleophile, the Lewis base, the water molecule, can bond onto the carbon, displacing this pi bond, and placing the two electrons onto our oxygen. So, we form a bond between the carbon of the carbonyl and the oxygen of the water. And we have a positive charge on this molecule here, on this section here, this oxygen. Now, if our water bonds to the oxygen side, we form a bond between the oxygen of the water and the oxygen of our carbonyl, and the pi bond is displaced, and the two electrons end up on this carbon, placing that negative charge onto this carbon instead of the oxygen, as in case number one. Now, the question is, which one of these pathways is the more likely one? Which one actually takes place? Well, it turns out that the nucleophile always adds on to our carbon, displacing this pi bond, creating this intermediate. Now, why is that? Why is it this more likely than this to take place? Well, there are three reasons that basically explain why this is more likely than this. The first reason has to do with electronegativity. So, oxygen is more electronegative than carbon and that means that oxygen will be more likely to bear that negative charge than this carbon and so because oxygen is more electronegative it will be more stable with a negative charge than this carbon here the second reason has to do with the bonds that are formed this carbon oxygen bond formed in this step is stronger than the bond form between these two oxygens in this step. And the third reason has to do with homo-lumo interactions. So basically we have a Lewis base, our nucleophile, and the Lewis acid, our carbonyl group. Now the Lewis base contains the highest occupied molecular orbital, and the Lewis acid contains our lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. Now in the previous lecture we discussed the pi bonding and the pi anti-bonding molecular orbital of our carbonyl group and we said that our pi anti-bonding molecular orbital will have a larger lobe on the carbon end than on the oxygen end. That is the energy of our pi anti-bonding molecular orbital of the carbonyl, the LUMO, will be higher in energy or closer in energy to the carbon 2p orbital than to our oxygen 2p orbital. 
And that basically means our LUMO, the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital of the carbonyl group, the pi anti-bonding molecular orbital, will have lobes that are larger on the carbon end than on the oxygen end. And so when the HOMO, the highest occupied molecular orbital of the water molecule, the Lewis base, interacts from this side, there, uh, there will be a much better overlap between between these lobes than if our water approaches from the oxygen end. And so we see that there are three reasons why this pathway is more likely than pathway number two. So the nucleophile will add onto the carbon because the more electronegative atom will bear the negative charge in this step. The carbon-oxygen bond is stronger and more stable than the oxygen-oxygen bond that is formed in step two. And we have a much better overlap between the highest occupied molecular orbital of the oxygen and the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital of this carbonyl group, which is basically the pi anti-bonding molecular orbital. Now, when this step takes place, the second step is basically the protonation of this oxygen using water, and the final step is the deprotonation of this oxygen using, let's say, a hydroxide molecule that was formed in this step. So we form the following hydride. Now, these are neutral conditions, and once again, if we have neutral conditions, the water will act as our nucleophile. Now, what if we have acidic conditions? What happens under acidic conditions? Well, under acidic conditions in our solution, we have plenty of hydronium, and the hydronium acid will basically act as our Lewis acid. So we have hydronium acting as the Lewis acid, the carbonyl acting as the Lewis base. Notice that we have these two electrons on the oxygen that can act as the Lewis base, and they can grab the H protonating that oxygen and forming a resonance stabilized intermediate. So because this is resonance stabilized, it will be relatively stable. Now, in the second step, we basically have a water molecule adding onto this carbon, forming a carbon-oxygen bond as shown. In the final step, our hydronium molecule is reformed, regenerated, because water basically deprotonates this oxygen, forming our hydride. Now, in the final type of condition, we have basic conditions. When we have basic conditions, we have plenty of hydroxide, and the hydroxide will act as the nucleophile, the Lewis base, bonding to our carbon in the carbonyl, displacing our two electrons onto the oxygen. In the second step, we reform our hydroxide because water protonates this oxygen, forming our hydrate, uh, as well as our um, hydroxide that was used in the first step. So basically these are the three conditions under which the addition, nucleophilic addition reaction of the carbonyl group takes place under. So if we have neutral, the water acts as the nucleophile. If we have acidic, basically we have the first step is the protonation of the oxygen, and then our water acts as the nucleophile. Under basic conditions, the hydroxide will act um, as our nucleophile.